Greetings and welcome to a new jailbreak update video. In this video, we will cover two major jailbreak updates. So I will first of all cover the biggest one. On your screen, you can see that a new jailbreak and kernel debugging is coming soon to all your new devices, iPhones or iPad running Apple's A12 to A16 SoC. And you can see this less than sign, which means that any version between iOS 16.5.1 and lower down to iOS 16.0 will be supported. The reason it is that much important and powerful is that it is likely a KTRR bypass using which you can skip PPL and pack also and you can apply Palerain like kernel patches with it. Basically, the KTRR ensures that the important parts of the kernel memory are read-only and are protected. So basically, if you bypass KTRR, you can do so much. So this is bigger than Fugu 14, Fugu 15 or the both core trust bugs that we have seen. Also, the KTR bypass is powerful enough so that you can use the jailbreak detection bypassing or hiding the jailbreak from apps that do not work while you are jailbroken. Also keep in mind that this is not like checkmate but it is as powerful. Now just to clarify things it got patched in iOS 16.6 .6, but if you have iOS 16.6 .6 beta 1 it will work there. Also in all of my jailbreak update videos I ask you to stay low so if you want this jailbreak, again, stay on iOS 16.5.1 or below. Now the next big update is that a new jailbreak tool by the name, definitely not a jailbreak tool, is out for all your ARM64 devices, meaning A11 and lower devices, and it will support from iOS 16.0 through iOS 16.5. And if you talk about the advantages over the Palerain jailbreak is that you will be able to set a passcode or use Touch ID or use Apple Pay while you are jailbroken. And since it is an app based jailbreak, you won't need a computer to re jailbreak your device. And the third one is you can install it with Troll Store so it never expires. Now to try it out, open it and you will get to its official github page it is completely free and you will get the latest release now simply go to releases here and you can find the ipa in assets and you can install it with troll store and try it on your compatible devices you can see that it works on ios 16.0 through ios 16.5 and here you can see that ios 15.7 is also supported. Talking about the current status, Tweak Injection is working on iOS 15.7 and iOS 16.5. Now, if you check out the known issues, you will have to install it using Troll Store or you can build it with Xcode. It will not work if you install it using apps like Sideloadly or Old Store. User Space Reboot is not supported currently and it will probably not work currently on 16.0 to 16.3 but it will be fixed later and we have a watchdog problem on an iPhone 8. As I said these issues will be fixed slowly as the development progress and you can see this post here that an iPhone 10 on iOS 16.5 has been jailbroken with totally not a jailbreak or tool and we have Celio working and the tweaks are installed and working just fine. Now talking about how this tool looks like is when you install it with the troll store you can simply open the app and then hit the start button and wait for the process to finish. And after the process is finished the device will automatically respring and you will get Celio and you can see the version here. It's an iPhone 10 on iOS 16.5. The reason you see Palerain rootless is that it is using the same bootstrap used by the Palerain jailbreak. That's all for this jailbreak update. If I have 
anything more to share i will definitely do it with you i will see you in a new video goodbye and take care